What is good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy Foxy. Welcome back to the Fox's Den. Getting into another reaction, Ninja Kamui, episode seven. I'm excited for this because last episode was a crazy fucking cliffhanger, leaving us off from seeing that fucking suit in full action that Higan has acquired. Thanks to Emma, of course. She stole it from Alza uh and you know gave its final little touches and modifications and there was at some point i think she was saying that she needed some still like some technology from the headquarters to get it up and running but then she did something else or or maybe it's since it's still a prototype like she just you know set it up as best as she could and there's going to be some drawbacks from that uh like while he uses it uh, and it's not even like a hundred percent to what it could be, but still that thing looks badass. We haven't even actually seen it in its full flow state yet. I mean, we just got kind of teased with it at the end worth it, like starting to light up and still like some shadows over it as he's coming out of the truck and it, bro, it already looks badass, but we haven't even seen it in full yet. So I can't wait to get into this to see it. Emma, I think eventually, uh, unfortunately passes away or you know gets fucked up by the small ninja dude that was fighting her because he took out her charging station or whatever that is i'm assuming to power up or charge the suits that they wear the mechs and since he destroyed that he she lost charge and then he just continued to take over and just beat her shit into the ground and it didn't really give us an actual i think last look into her being like actually killed but that was the consensus as like her monologue was going on and playing into his subconscious he gone subconscious while he was still kind of asleep or so you speak like waiting for the suit to be done and uh so yeah it looks like she didn't make it which is unfortunate because she was badass in herself she did a lot for us to be able to get, even get to this moment i mean she's the one that helped he even get into the city or at least attempt to get into the city before they just let him in uh, the one that got him the suit, you know, all this stuff. And, and, and was also, you know, an insider on Alza because she betrayed them. Uh, so she was a very pivotal character in the show and she's already gone. So that was a crazy, crazy end for her, which was pretty quick. You know, you know we're only seven episodes in and we've already had like a character death of like somebody that we know in the present time. Uh, and instead of just, you know, Higan's family, which was the opening of the, of the show um and then you know whatever other characters that we've heard of or didn't really know too well that have you know passed on like some of these other exiled ninjas that just got murked and assassinated by the organization so i'm excited to get into this bro i want to see this suit in full action i have a feeling fucking higan is going to absolutely wreck this small ninja dude that might be the main focus of this episode is just him fighting it out with him or maybe he makes quick work of him way quicker than we think and he fucking goes ahead and moves on to his real target which is yamaji you know he's trying to get his hands on fucking the uh the leader of the current clan or the current leader of the clan yamaji who is probably the one that is you know setting out all these hits and you know the one that wants to take care of these exiled ninja and he's the, he's the one that's you know giving the order to the clan like yo take this person out take this person out and that ended up being you know you know two of the or one of the no two yeah two of the hits were fucking him and his uh wife obviously and then obviously the kid just because they had a kid together so yeah unfortunate but i'm excited to see this suit in full action and see him fucking go the fuck in i know this is going to be badass so without further ado let's get into the episode let's get in the reaction if you guys enjoy it please like down below comment subscribe for new hit the notification bell so the next one's dropping Let's get into it. Ninja Kamui, episode 7. Someone who is, who is pure. Never hesitates. <laughs> Yo, nah, this shit looks crazy. This shit looks so dope. Oh yeah, you know Small Ninja Dude is gonna be fucking with this, bro. He's actually excited for this. Enormous satisfaction. <laughs> Wait, she's not dead? Oh, fuck, what? I thought since the message was playing and how they weren't showing her as much towards the end of the last episode that, like, yeah, she's dead. Alright, she's alive then. Alright, we're chilling. Forget what I said in the discussion. Oh, <laughs> yo, nah, that red suit is so badass. 
Of course they give Egon the most badass suit, right? The surge of magma welling up inside of him. Yo, this guy's sick. Oh, damn! Oh, nah, he's crazy. This is insane. Damn! Huge flame. Oh, nah. He went right through it. Oh, bro. <laughs> Yo, nah, he got his fucking nasty now, bro. Nah, this bro, he's out of the suit. He propelled him out of his own suit. <laughs> this is perfect fucking, this is the perfect moment for him. Yo, he, he couldn't feel happier with this conclusion for him. Oh, wait, what? Oh, my goodness. That shit looks so badass, bro. Oh, oh, oh the way he sounds through the mech. No, oh my god, opening. I completely forgot about the opening. That was a- oh, damn. That was a lot before the opening played. Damn, dude. That shit is so tough. That shit is so tough. Oh my god, let's go. Come on. Ew, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> That's his head? This kid's got care less. He just wants the data from Higan using the suit. Bro, look at his face. He fucked him up. Our great cause. Yeah, what is like their big goal in all this? Like, what are they really trying to do? Mm. Oh, the Reaper has his own suit that he hasn't even used yet, or probably rarely uses because he's already that nasty. But if he got his using a suit, he's like, all right, I'm gonna have to put that one on too. I'm gonna have to put one on too. Wow, okay, so he's actually giving them the okay and the order to go ahead and himself. You can make the move to go assassinate Higan instead of waiting for Higan to come to us or, you know, whatever. That's the first time he's allowed him. Oh, they were partners? Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah, she really looked up to her. That's why she was so hell-bent on helping Higan. He's like, I'm gonna fucking honor... Mari, or Mary. One of these three would inherit the control of the clan. Oh, wow. That's fucked up, man. So I wonder, I wonder if she's ever gonna show her real face, cause she's still using like the face of Emma, like a persona, you know? One of her multiples that she mentioned, so... I wonder if she'll ever show her true face to Higan.
Are we going to see it now with Mary? That doesn't even look like that crazy bad. I mean, she just had terrible burns on her face. Yeah, she like idolized her, bro. I mean, is Nat is natural to think that way if you had Mary as your mentor? She was such a sweet person. That's what they say. That's the classic rule of ninjas. Oh, wow. So wait, did... So wait, Emma inherited that? Because that's what she did to Higan in the first episode. We're getting a lot of backstory this this episode. I'm fucking with this, man. Are we learning how Yamaji came in to be in control of the clan? <laughs> this is when they were in the works of like making their changes in the clan. Seemed there was people that didn't agree with the way Yamaji was running things. Or trying to change the direction of things. Hmm. So she was the only person to tell that to. <laughs> yep, that's true. It's a partnership. Check and balance off of each other. Help each other out when you need it. So this is what was starting to be, yeah, put into motion to start working outside of Japan, the jurisdiction of the ninjas. Yeah, so there's definitely people that stood up to him. I guess he just, he's just going to kill these motherfuckers? Bro, yeah, nah, whatever this is that he has, oh my goodness. With one hand, he's cho choking both of them. Oh, shit. He ain't show no fucking mercy. Damn. Oh my god. That's fucking brutal. He literally made an example out of them. I mean, yeah, he took that shit by force and he made an example out of those two and shut everybody up real fucking quick. And then obviously whoever, I think that was one of the new trainees or one of the new ninjas that came from overseas learning their arts and ways from whoever he started making relationships with overseas. That fucking like stopped that one dude because one, one guy was about to attack after he cut those two in half. But he put a blade to his neck and he stopped. So all these motherfuckers that didn't agree with these are the exiles. And those are all the all the people that Yamaji wanted killed. 
Oh, she, Mary's the one that invented this? That fucking sucks, bro. The amount of work that she put in and how kind she was. Like, she's a very pivotal character in the, in the backstory of the show. And she was literally taken out and her kid, bro. She didn't want to do this, but she's trying to uphold like her fucking responsibility. Mary probably smokes her. Huh. It's your face that comes to mind. Wow. That's how much she idolized her and looked up to her. It's like almost like Mary was a mom to her. That is crazy. Yeah, she doesn't know, like, whether to... This is the thing about emotions getting in the way and shit. Whether to support her friend Mary or to, like, keep on living up to being a ninja and falling under, like, order of Yamaji and whatnot. She tried to kill herself? They actually give them life. Yes, there we fucking go. Wow. Yeah, you can see from this just how important Mary was to Emma. That's crazy. This is when fucking Mark Zuckerberg. Hey, welcome. Welcome to Alza City. Yep, and it did. She helped out Higan big time. We see how she got to be in the position of the character Emma as we know her. They kept in touch and everything too. That's crazy, man. Yeah, what the fuck? Okay, we finally get an idea of what he's actually trying to accomplish. What is the master plan? Bro! Bro, you're gonna tell me that? Oh, and then not give it to me right away, man? Fuck. Good episode as usual, but like another cliffhang, dude. Like, yeah, give me, give me the master plan. What is it? Alrighty guys, one another amazing episode of Ninja Kamui. That was a fun watch. We got a lot of backstory and information in this episode. That was primarily our focus in this episode. Uh, besides the shit, yeah, with all that backstory that we got, I, I completely forgot about the absolute gas we got in the beginning. Before the opening played, we got to see Higan in his mech suit. I think there's an actual term for it. I think it's like Gosuku or something like that. That's what the mechs are called. I probably it's something like that i probably uh letter or two in that but uh like the positioning of it it's either gosuku or gokusu something something along the lines of that uh we saw him actually use it in full form how it actually looks fucked up small ninja dude i mean completely fucked him up like they were holding his head at the table after like they i guess he delivered it as like a warning or a threat or something and they were holding it. I mean, just completely mutilated. So he cut his head off. And not only that, his head was completely mutilated. And that was after he tried to take them both out with like whatever bomb or whatever he had in his mouth. Because he's a sneaky little fuck. But that that little bit of a fight we got between those two and, and him going off in that suit. Like it, it almost like the more you're, the more you are able to visualize what you're trying to do, the more you're able to bring out the capabilities of the suit and like you could see how fast he was moving like bro it, it, i mean it didn't even compare to the motherfuckers that are in the suits around the table you know what i'm saying like these are newer ninja you know they're not a part of that old age and have that classic i guess technique and practice 
that he gone and those other ex ninja dude from the old age and then you put one of those motherfuckers into a suit as we can see with he gone right here oh nah they're fucking nasty and then we also get a little bit of a tease after all that went down reaper going into a room and it looks like he's looking at a suit so he it seems that he has his own that he is yet to you know pull out of his deck of cards yeah, I mean, he doesn't really have a reason to use it, right? Because he's already strong as fuck the way he is. Because he's part of that, you know, old school ninja clan. Uh, just like Higan and Mary. You know, they were a trio. So, <laughs> the whole reason why he's getting ready to maybe use it and hunt Higan down is because he finally got the approval to from Yamaji. He's like, alright, I'll give you, I'll give you permission. You can fucking hunt him down, you know erase him like fucking take care of his ass like, i'm finally giving you permission and so uh, obviously they were paying attention to the fight between he and the small ninja dude and they saw what that suit was capable of and they're like okay yeah obviously reaper's gonna need his own fucking suit and who knows how long he's had it this might be another prototype this might be a suit that he has used already a couple times but he just doesn't use it all the time so he might have more experience with it that's very possible or it's another prototype and you know it's gonna be both of them you know just kind of naturally using it like badasses because they have that old ninja way like the technique and practice and the experience combined with whatever that suit is capable of i, mean, I don't even um, bro he looks crazy the character design for the whole suit and everything is amazing i can't imagine what reapers looks like because reaper already looks badass with his mask very scary long hair like bro his suit probably looks fucking dope as shit too and he definitely has more of the uh darker color tones like gray black white whereas he gone his main color is red because that's his eye color so the suit his whole suit is like red and black amazing color scheme so i'm assuming reapers is going to be pretty much all black or maybe maybe all white or like black with like white accents regardless i'm sure that's just gonna look fucking amazing but the backstory was absolutely fucking captivating this episode learning why emma idolizes mary and really respects her almost sees her as like a mother as we find out towards the end of the of the flashback and and what they have been through and you know mary basically respected her and showed her kindness from the from the get-go and also like was able to get under a layer that most people wouldn't like even her own parents her actual parents couldn't stand to look at her after her injuries to her face and and left her like just completely didn't want anything to do with her after that which is just so sad and that's what kind of gave her purpose when she became a ninja because she realized that she could disguise herself and, and make her look however she wanted to look and that kind of gave her like a motivation or like like a purpose like oh i can like hide this ugly face of mine because she was so ashamed so ashamed of it from her parents the way they treated her like after the fact that her face was fucked up so that was kind of like a i guess like a opening for her to like get some sort of purpose in her life becoming a ninja and then obviously being under mary and, and having mary as her mentor that was just an amazing experience that she'll always cherish because she was really really great i mean mary is a very sweet kind woman and you can see there was two different sort of factions in the new age of ninjas before Yamaji like made that announcement that we're go like we're leaving Japan. But the business relationships that he made with people outside of Japan had new ninjas coming in or new people coming in to learn the ways of the ninja. The older ninjas didn't really fuck with that, like the OGs of the clan. And they tried to step up to him and he handled two of them, swift, cut them in half, absolutely curb stomped this one bitch's face after she was already dead just to make an example out of them and show that you're not gonna fuck with me this is the way things are gonna go if you don't like it i'm gonna fucking kill you so that was that was that example was made real quick crystal clear you're not fucking you're, you're not fucking with me and if you try to i will kill you and that it was that goes to show that the new people that he had under him too that he was training are more loyal to him than the old school ninjas in the clan and that will keep the old school ninjas in check because one guy tried to help or try to attack Yamaji after those two were taken down by him and a blonde guy put a knife to his neck and stopped them immediately which i'm assuming that blonde guy was like one of the new people that were you know came to japan to train and learn the ways of the ninja and whatnot he was answering under right under Yamaji, and so that like kind of like kept the balance in check like no 
stay your ass right there. You're not fucking moving or else I'm going to cut your throat. So that was, that was insane getting all of that and, and seeing how Yamaji, you know, made these changes. Certain people didn't agree with them. And then like the people that didn't agree with him, those are all the exiled ninjas that, you know, he's, you know, having his organization now take out currently. And there's a good amount of them. I don't know how many are left, uh, but Emma's definitely one of them and was, you know, she just, she decided to stay kind of undercover and in that organization for a good amount of time and find a way to be able to help within the organization. And she still kept in touch with Mary all during that time too. Like she was telling, you know, she got, got in touch with her and telling her about, you know, oh, I've, I'm inf infiltrating the FBI. This is what's going on, blah, 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 blah. And then Mary was just like talking to her like, yeah, like I'm, I'm a fucking mom now. Like this might be even harder than being a ninja, you know, just small talk, like actually conversing with one another and catching up, you know? And that was just cool to see how important Mary was to Emma. And then we kind of see her progress into this character that we know her as Emma, where, you know, that's just, this is just one of her personas uh, of many. And getting that story for for he gone hearing that i feel like there's a good amount of closure for him not complete closure obviously like he's still got a job to do he wants to take out yamaji but it's good to know from somebody else that mary was respected and idolized by somebody else not only him you know like obviously he was in love with her but she was very influential to this person and probably many others uh, and obviously, apparently she was the one that created the, the thing that goes in your neck that you can change like your face. And she gave that to the other x Nile ninjas too, but somehow they knew about that. So it's probably some sort of owls of technology that she, I don't know. She said that she created it. So I don't know. I, I'd be, I'd be interested to get more information on that as well. And then right at the end, we were literally just about to get Yamaji's master plan that Emma was about to mention to, uh, Higan or start talking about. And that's where the episode ends. So hopefully next episode that's what we get into and actually figure out what the fuck he's trying to accomplish because obviously he's got some fuck shit planned who knows what the real real big you know operation is you know he's just trying to take over the world or some shit is that the classic trope or is there something more beyond that i don't know so can't wait for the next one another amazing episode that's going to do it for me if you guys enjoyed it please like down below comment subscribe if you're new and that notification bell see the next one's dropping i'll see you on the next one y'all be good Deuces.